God damn it, where am I supposed to put all this crap? Yes, these are 16 additional power safe 12V170F batteries. Eight of them from 2007 and eight from 2008. So that puts my current ownership of power self safe 12V170F batteries to 36. That's equal to about 2.4 tons, 6,000 amp hours at 12 volts, or 73,440 watt hours total. So, we're approaching rather considerable amount of energy stored in these batteries, and we are almost at 100 kilowatt hours. Thankfully though, these are supposed to be the last one I get for some time and that's very fortunate because this time I'm not joking when I'm saying that I'm running out of space and indeed my six string parallel battery system can't house these and they can't fit in the battery room. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with them other than bring them inside or at least attempt to and uh, do some performance checking on them. I don't want to sell them, but I might be forced to. How sad. They would make probably for a rather impressive EV battery though, but 16 of them weigh 1.1 tons and if we take a gander at my suspension, well that isn't a very likely candidate. You probably want lithium if you want to do an EV. But if you're gonna do it on the cheap, hey, can't be for good old lead acids. They did cover the price though, because I managed to run into a lighting pole when I was driving up a very icy hill with these less than suitable snow tires. So. Now I've got this to deal with. Need to get the plastic fender back on if this is ever going to go through inspection again. And there we have it. Final one going out. Suspension quite a bit raised. And this time, since we actually have some snow, I built myself a snow ramp. Which is <laughs> quite a bit less uh, flimsy and horrible than the metal ramp. To say the least. Two thumbs up for the all terrain cart, however unsuitable it is for this climate. Truly a high quality piece of precision engineering. So, what we have here is of course, another 16 power save 12V 170Fs. We have, let's say we have eight of them from 2008. It should be these first eight. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go, number eight stored recharged before 2008. Then we have uh, seven from 2007 and one, curiously, from 2009, which was uh, mixed in with the 07. So, this one's probably a drop-in replacement from a failed cell and uh, that's not a good thing because that means that for some time at least three of these have been sitting in a string with probably a battery with a short of the cell so they might have been exposed to 
excessively high voltages for uh, possibly a very long time and uh, indeed I believe these three suffer from a rather low open circuit voltage despite being taken out of service today or yesterday let's see we've got yeah, 12.7 12.59 and 12.66 and if we compare it to any of the other O7s well 12.85 very dirty connectors but 12.81 85 85 and so forth so these three might have been exposed to such high voltages that they've ev evaporated a considerable amount of their electrolyte and they might be beyond saving but who knows I need to test them but I'm still waiting for my bloody test gear well it's not bloody my very good friend is designing it for me but getting the boards from China is taking a while either way I need to re the connectors on these since most of them probably suffer some from some leakage around the terminals due to the in probably incorrectly torqued screws and really in light of owning 36 of these uh, 170 amp hour batteries to be frank these are going to have to go I already threw the 45 amp hour one out in order to make some room and yeah these the best two have a 50% wear level and they sadly have a different self discharge rate if you see this one's at 12.842 whereas this one's at 12.7 so using these in a serious string it's likely to not last for very long and the other two they are just uh, very poor by comparison I believe this one's even below 12.6 volts OCV yeah 12.593 so that's from sitting for about a week or so so yeah it was a worthwhile effort to uh, cycling these I much enjoyed doing it but in the grand scheme of things they work worthless for my purposes. I might try to give them away for use rather than just scrapping them, but we're going to have to see about that since, yeah, room is getting short. I've already, I haven't edited the video for that yet, and I probably haven't even finished shooting it, but I've constructed a battery rack and loaded it up over here. So, and this is for. 20 batteries and there is no way I'm fitting another 16 in here uh, I could possibly squeeze a few in here but in this corner we have water leakage so that's not a good idea and uh, if worst comes to worst I could probably stack two beside each other that way and have two on top of them and I just sorted through my bags of miscellaneous stuff and with this batch I got a a bit of extras, including a couple of these cute, cheap uh, wrenches, 13 and 10 millimeter. I they're branded for yum, so these probably came with their new batteries since they are blue for yum brand. So these might be handy, short little sh shrink wrapped things, fairly safe. There's also a few, maybe four or so, four or five little, I believe these are M8 crimpon connectors yep, M8, doesn't fit the M6 for probably, I don't know, around 50 mil, 50 square mil cable so these could come in handy well, these are probably fairly expensive locally, so I definitely don't mind there's a whole heap of M6 nuts and washers and these things which 
probably are the pole caps for the new batteries which might actually fit these too. This looks like M6 for size. Yeah, could be. It might be made for M8, but I think I can force these in there, which might be useful for something transporting them, making everything a bit safer. Also got a few more <laughs> copper jumpers for a total of 26. About half a kilo of them. That should be enough for eight strings according to my calculation since you use three washers per string and I'll probably end up using jumper wires for a couple of strings since my racking systems are a bit inadequate so I got enough of those so uh, now all I need to do is check those three batteries out the rest of these seem fine and uh, get everything tested I'm coming down with a bit of a cold so I'm a bit tired but it's okay but boy oh boy do we have some bad corrosion and a couple of these this one I'm not sure I'll be able to get off without resorting to the big screwdriver again you can barely even make out the fact that there's a screw there it just looks like something just pulled off the bottom of the sea so thankfully this is an 07 so it's not the most valuable of them all the 08s are okay or rather they're better a couple of them has minor leak but only the 07s have bad leaks but I'll get that sorted certainly not an impossibility in we go Now, I'm no expert in metal working, but something tells me that's not how 9 Newton meters plus minus 0 0.9 Newton meters looks like. I don't think it's supposed to compress the metal, literally leaving a ridge around the screw. That just seems a bit out there. And there we go. Everything cleans up and talk to spec. Now, I, it seems these three batteries were different, probably being the ones of us were in series 4 for one from 2009. Uh, I've actually rigged up to test these three uh, right away before I got my proper testing gear. Uh, that's because a mate of mine was kind of interested in maybe getting a couple for his UPS and well, that's a 24 volt unit, and yeah, I have no use for three batteries, especially if they are different than the other ones. They wouldn't be able to go in series with any of my other batteries, so I'd be glad to get rid of a couple. So that's what's going on. And beyond that, I really just need to wait until I get my testing gear, do proper diagnosis on all of these. Uh, these definitely aren't as impressive as that uh, uh, 2008 one that I tested that stuck around over 13 volts for ages. Uh, this one dropped down to about 12.2 right away almost, took just a couple of minutes. So it's sticking around there quite well there, 12.28 right now. So it's got something going for it. This one's probably not going to be 170 amperes on the first go. I It might recover after being cycled for a few times, but if they've been sitting at too high voltage for too long a time, well, they're not never going to recover to anywhere near their full capacity, but that's something that only time will tell. At the moment, though, I should be going to bed because I'm starting to feel rather uncomfortable with being awake. But uh, comfortable knowing that the batteries are at least doing as good as they're able to do.